Welcome, welcome, San Bonani. Um, I know I'm a bit late. I said I was going to be here at uh, 1 p.m. But yeah, I was in town and then I decided, you know what, let me just uh, relax instead of doing this thing in a rush. I will do it when I get back home. So today, again, it takes a cool moment. What it means to be over in short and being under in short. So, so we're calling a case of being over insured. A, a lot of people are not aware or don't understand Uguti, especially those that have got cars. Uguti, with your car loses value. A, actually, the minute it, it, it goes out of the garage, and then two, it also loses value on a yearly basis then meaning which it is a depreciating asset so because it is a depreciating asset it means which the value of the car decreases over every year now what then most of us are not conscious of and we don't know is that on a yearly basis we need to be relooking at our insurance because what then means which if the car when you bought the car it was valued at um, 200,000. The minute it, it, it gets out of the garage already, it's at 180,000. That's a value because if anything were to happen, the bank is not going to pay the 200,000. They is going to pay what the market value is at that moment of which they immediately, it gets out of the garage, it loses 20% of its value. So, that's the the in uh, or the the first thing. So meaning Oguti, if you bought a car and then at the time when you bought the insurance it was valued at two hundred thousand, and we, when you got out of the garage, already twenty percent of that two hundred thousand it is gone. So meaning Oguti, you need to go and relook because the value of that car is no longer two hundred thousand. The value of that car it is now we're looking about 180,000 yes we're looking about there so that is the first thing so what that means then Oguti, when you need to go and uh, make sure Oguti, in a year's time your car insurance is valued at 180,000 meaning the premium that you are paying it is market related because most cars they will tell you that you are insured at market value so if you are insured at market value, the value of the car will not be the same as what you had uh, borrowed at the bank. Maybe you bought the car for. So then it means okay, we should go to where now as it is. If you are paying a, an insurance for 200000 for a car that is valued at um, 180000 for an example, that means okay, to where now already you are over insured. And over insurance, then what happens with over insurance? You end up paying more in premiums that you would have saved, money that you have saved in premiums that you shouldn't have been paying for. You shouldn't be paying for. That is the first thing. Now, many of us are not aware of this. We don't even know Uguti because they, they with especially with cars, there's a difference between a market value, a market value and the retail value. So you need to also know what your insurance, what are they insuring? Are they insuring it at the market value or are they insuring it at the retail value? Because some cars, what they retail for and what they are marketed for, it's two different things. So you need to be conscious of that because if it happens, let's say that car is um, is uh, valued at the rate, at market value or at the retail value, ne? then what then happens is that where now you get there, uh, the retail value for the car at that time will say the, the car is re in the re retail value is 160,000. And where now you already owe the bank 200,000 because you have taken the installment, the, the, the car for 200,000. So meaning which the, 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 the credit life insurance that you are paying, it is, it's, it, it's, it's for the 200,000 and then in most cases, most people, because credit life pays only when somebody passes on or when you are defaulting, but it doesn't pay on your side. The, the banks are able to um, uh, claim on their side if we are, we are defaulting. But yeah, that's not, that's not, that's one of those uh, fine prints that you are not aware of and we're not taking the, um, 
uh, utilizing to our benefit but anyway so then what will then happen is then when are you then you'll find yourself in that space where you owe the bank instead of you uh, um instead of you the, the insurance having settled the amount so in that account in that space then that will mean good when you are under insured hence it is very critical that we need to clearly understand the terms of our insurance documents if the document says market related you must understand what you should might market related when it says retail value you must understand what retail value means and make sure then what you are adequately covered so that if anything happens then you are able to the insurance or the car is settled the way it's supposed to settle that's why many people you find that after they get an accident or whatsoever they end up having to pay certain installments because there's a shortfall why because at that time they were under insured as per the, the the retail value of the car versus v what they took as the loan at the bank so the the loan at the bank is two hundred thousand, but the asset that they are driving is no longer worth two hundred thousand. the asset is actually worth less which is let's say hundred and sixty thousand, meaning that already you have a forty thousand shortfall then in that case you are under in short hence you need to be very very aware as to what it is that is a case in your own in in your own uh, things in your own matters secondly as i've said that you go to already you've driven the car for whatever years maybe uh, uh, let's say that you've already paid off the car for an example you've already paid off the car and then the the, the 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 insurance that the cover it is sitting it's still sitting at two hundred thousand. Yeah, you are paying a premium for two hundred thousand. But then, if anything were to happen to that car, the bank is not going to the insurance is not going to give you the two hundred thousand that you are insured for. But they are going to give you what the car is worth the the at that time. They write the value of the car. So if the value of the car is hundred thousand, and when you are valued your your, your insurance is at two hundred thousand for the very same car, it means you are over insured. And as a result of you being over insured, you are paying more for something that you are not even going to utilize. So that's what the difference between the two things is. That is what the difference between the two things are, is. So hence, you need to be, made, be very conscious and ve uh, become aware of your money matters, especially on those things that you are uh, 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 utilizing. Let's take an example of a house. For somebody who they took a bond and when they took the bond um, let's say the house was hundred thousand and they go and do improvements on the house and they don't go and tell the bank now i've made these and these and these and these improvements the bond at the time the home insurance insur home insur insurance homeowners insurance it is still evaluating the house at hundred thousand yet when now you have made a a, a uh, improvements that are 150,000 more, meaning go to in that space where now you are underinsured. If anything happens in that space of the, the house, where now you are not going to be insured for the value of the things that you've put in, that's when the bank they might even decline your, your thing and say, No, 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 but where now you are, you didn't tell us that this and that and that, and that. we are only going to pay Tina the 100,000. So then, in that case, you're still gonna have 50,000, which it's a loss. Hence, when you do any improvements to your house, either you're putting a gate, either you're putting cupboards, you're putting any improvements that you are doing, you need to inform your homeowner's insurance department of the insurance because now they need to come and re-evaluate what the value of the property is now. Just like if you are insured for 200,000 and you don't look uh, after the house, then the house it gets dilapidated. Uh, then it means the value of that property is uh, to um, value of that property. Sorry about that. Uh, to let's say, um. This asset is appreciating, and but when the bank comes and checks, but we can't uh, uh, cover this asset at two hundred thousand ibuwa ngalenzele. Then kashiga shiwe na ufano yomoto kuguti you are 
you have you are over insured and then what the property is like it looks like at that value it actually less so i've got um, a course it's a it's a um, it's a 30-day program actually yeah it is a 30-day program and then it has got a money back guarantee the program itself it's 1000 rent and then it's a 30 day and the why it's got a money back guarantee in that program i guarantee you that you are definitely going to get at least minimum 500 rents of your money back into your pocket the program's name is where is my money you know where's my money then it tells you the different places where and you need to do the calculations and whatever and, and see where you are overspending and where you are actually um uh, 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 where you need to do uh, yeah reshuffle and, and stuff like that so in that program it is a thousand rent and it's got a, a money back guarantee if when you've done this program the way it says you must do and then after doing that you do not get minimum 500 rents back into your pocket then we are guaranteeing that you will give you back your thousand rent that is how powerful we know the program is and some of these things that i'm sharing here they are also part of that so it's very important to go to you go and evaluate your assets the things that you you, you paying insurance over uh, go and evaluate them and the one last thing that i want us to understand uh, in the laser insurance in insurance we are ensuring the risk we are ensuring the what if scenario you know in other words um insurance it's where we um we are feeding our fears ne? But yet we say in Guti, we are, yeah, we are keeping them type of a thing. But yeah, the, we calling, they, they call it calculated risk. But the bottom line, Guti, for an example, the reason you take a car insurance or a household insurance, a house insurance is in a case if something bad happens. And most of us, as we've seen until Manje, you find that most of the things that you've got your insurance over, they never happen in any way. So that also is another money that you are throwing away, but in the form of us uh, feeding our fears, you know, feeding our fears because if bottom line insurance is all about fear. Insurance is all about us uh, 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 being uh, wanting to secure the, the, this thing in case it happens, which is the uh, fearful aspect. And that's why in many cases, when you get the you are insured and then you don't get paid uh, what you are supposed like your claims get declined it is because most of the eco insurance industry is not to pay you <laughs> i'm sorry ne? and as kissing as with most of the insurance industry that you are going to unfriend me and then you are going to do all the things but you tell me so you good if goal of the insurance is to try not to pay any claim as much as possible so when you need to establish these things that you have got insured how else can i do them and have them as securely but imalia corner in seven say like imalia corner go be me versus v what we are doing how can you look after that you know yeah that, that, that's what we should be looking at. That's what we should be looking at, Uguti. But how do we then make sure, Uguti, we still have these things covered, ne? In, in case, but in a good way where the money, it comes back to me versus V, the money. Uguti, if this thing does not happen, then my money stays being my money. Me ask, a claim claim-free bonus, Uguti, to set that three years, claim will give you a certain portion. Guys, check what the portion that you are getting paid in versus view what you have paid in your premiums what is the difference so these things we should be able to put the money as a way for ourselves uguti if this thing will have to happen now nah, in my corner but if this thing doesn't happen this is my money and i can use this money to do other things that is where we need to get to eventually but because guess he has sabela and uh, somebody else knows uguti in any case so they will make sure you pay for those insurance premiums that eventually they might not be paid because of the those fine prints that are there this is our fund like i've shared with the one year homeowners insurance the other day if you don't you know about that go and check my other other videos and then you must check the what i've written but other than that that's what i wanted to share today let's go and reevaluate go and evaluate your insurance 
check if you are under insured or over insured and then if you don't understand you have we are in a situation which you know i don't understand you can feel free to connect with me and check good but i don't understand this thing see cool man is seen to see cool man like let me break it down to your level in layman's term and then if you don't have a problem consulting with your insurance guys ask them to do that but i guarantee you most of them they read scripts so it's very few of them where they will give you the information with the but anyway you can have got to try go to try and at least try and save yourself money and make sure what you get your money other than that get in touch with me get in touch with me and then let's do that program together and see how much money you can save self and not only for now going forward because then this thing becomes what we do in that 30 day program then it becomes something that you do on a yearly basis or at least every two years you do and save your money you save yourself monies and use your money wisely so that is it that i wanted to share today a uh, much much love there's something that came now about that i wanted to but it's anyway i will remember of, uh, uh, for the topics tomorrow that is it from me to you today. Much, much love. Thank you. Bye-bye.